welcome to Omni Dinosaur Plays Paw Patrader, a dog on a mystery. Uh, today, up uh, late date, is the Lunar New Year, or Chinese New Year, and we are going into the Year of the Dog, and I thought that was really exciting, and thought I'd play a game featuring some doggos. Uh, from what I gather, this game, which I found itch.io, is that we are a pupper who has been framed for something we haven't done, and it's up to us to figure it out. Alright, so... Ooh, we get to name our pupper. Are we a pug? What do we want to be named? Er, I could be basic and just say Omni. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, and Omni Dino fits. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll one day come up with creative names. Alright, Omnisaur. Ooh. Thanks. What happened? That's what I want to know. Ugh, my head is killing me. I remember someone throwing a ball at my face. That must have been it. Someone threw a ball and it knocked me out. So, where am I? I can't move my arms. What the hell's going on here? The soup look the cutest. See, <gasps> did you look wherever the mouse goes? Sort of. Oh my god, you're so cute. All right, well let's click on ourselves. Oh, I'm tied up. I can't move my arms or my legs. This is bad. Very bad. Okay, cool. Can I? What's this? Is this a ransom note? Is this letter just to me? It says there. Uh, oh, it says hello there, Omnisaur. You're probably wondering why you're tied up and locked in my basement. Or perhaps you aren't wondering because you know exactly what you did. That's right, I know. You stole my special stash of bones. Tell me where they are, or else. XO, XO, Fluffy Flufferton the Third. <laughs> Player, you should try clicking on Omnisaur and see what happens. What? I already did click on myself. Should I click on myself again? Fluffy's holding me captive. Fluffy, of all people, I could bark for help. But it might attract Fluffy's attention. Ugh, no bark. Guess I won't bark. I should look around more. Okay. I don't think we can read this. For oh my god, we can. Uh. Okay. Police threatened to take his pots away if he did it again. He wouldn't risk it. Alright, I'm missing some contacts. You're really nice looking bone. Femur, if I'm not mistaken, it looks tasty. There's a tiny divot along the left side. Perhaps a bite mark? I'm not sure because bite marks usually at least two symmetrical marks, not one. That doesn't look like a femur. I mean, I guess it's the cartoon femur. A pen? This pen looks really important. I'm going to remember this pen. Alright. Doggy status. It's just some loose change. It doesn't seem that noteworthy. This is a video game. Everything's noteworthy. Hold on. It's too small. I can't read that. My eyes are good. Not that good. A Polaroid. The one and only, Bill Fetch. He used to be my co-worker. I always admired him. He was a good dog of the year for three years in a row. Wow. <laughs> He's a single dad of two puppies. What is this picture doing here? It's an excellent question. Alright. Uh, that looks like a lot to click on, so we're gonna go this way. Nothing. This chair look comfy? Can I have this? No? Can I have this mouse? No? A PC that is huge. Oh, someone left their okay open. Hold on, can I see a picture? Profile picture. Amelia Fluff. Fluff? Fluff? I don't know. Model, actress, show dog. Oh, she's got lipstick on. She lives in town, but I've never actually met her in person. Everyone says she's really pretty, but I don't see it. I don't know that much about her, but it looks like her dating profile is left open, so I guess I'm going to learn more than I care to ever know about Amelia Fluff. Hi, my name is Amelia. I'm a super down to earth doggette who. Ugh, doggette. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> doggette who really enjoys being pet, music, and walking outside of. Being pet? You said that already. I'm not looking for your typical. 
like a boring good boy dog who brings a stick back. I'm looking for a real bad boy who goes to the bathroom the places they shouldn't and tears up the couches. I'm mostly a professional model and actress and I need to be combed twice a day. She sounds lovely. She sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> dog food? Oh, is that her model? Ten things you didn't know about the floofs or floofs. I don't know. I'm never going to get this right. Oh boy, it's a celebrity gossip. One, they live in Dogville. To see item two, I have to click next on the sled chip, but my arms can't reach. Ew, I hate articles like that. Or not even like little articles. Oh, this whole thing is an article. Okay. Notes. She's a method actor, known for acting out when she plays villainous characters. Okay, so she's good at her job. Sticky note. House arrest after tennis ball accident. Incident, sorry. Why would you put a sticky note to your screen like that? Like a real sticky note. Oh, the whole wall lines up. Alright. What do we got? Who are you? Polaroid. That's a picture of Dr. Holly Barkwood. Don't let the silly photograph fool you. This is one of the smartest minds of our nation. She's a... She's an osteo... Ostique. An osteo What? Oh, they can't pronounce it. Okay. She studies bones. I used to do contract work for her. She also does community service and cares for the elderly. Most notably, she takes O-Dog Scraggly on a walk once a week. Okay. Newspaper. The headline reads, Good Dog of the Year loses title to Yuck Upstart after shoplifting incident. Loses title forever. I can't tell from here if I were a guessing dog. I'd say this is probably an article about Bill Fetch. He was a good dog of the year for several years in a row, but then he was caught shoplifting and lost the title. The only reason he was stealing in the first place was he could feed his puppies after losing his job. Aw, oh, that's rough. Other newspaper. It's covered up, but has something to do with some scandal involving local celebrity Amelia Flauf. Looks like she sold a tennis ball from local county cl country club. What is this world coming to? Poverty, dude. People are poor. Comedy's garbage. Sticky notes. Home on record shows no excavation at crime scene. Uh huh. Okay, those are the same thing. Linda. Looks like the portrait of a dog that was cut in the final build. What? Oh my god, you make fun of both of the game, that's rude. Small notes. Too small, can't read it. Mine is good, but not that good. Alright. Scrap? piece of cloth nailed to a wall. The color matches a scarf Holly would always wear. There's a note next to it, found at the crime scene. Magazine article? A snippet from a science magazine. Holly was given an award recently for her excellent technique in handling bones. Okay. It just says. I don't know what to put here. Over and over. Looks like the writers got lazy in the hours before the submission window. Stop! Research paper. Some pages are of Holly's PhD dissertation. At least, I think so, considering this is a lot of big, sciencey words. And has pictures of bones. Scraggly was having a daily walk at the time of the theft. Might have changed up his routine. Okay. Boxes? Yeah. Sack of papers. Oh, we have a bone. Can I have the bone? No. Okay, who's this? It's a poor Lloyd picture, Scraggly, or as we call him, Old Dog Scraggly. He used to be a treasure hunter way back in the day, but now he just sits on the, his porch and complains. He also has a left snaggle tooth he calls his lucky tooth. Alright, well that's what the one bite mark was on the other thing. Okay, lower box. It's a cardboard box full of papers. I can only read a top paper. Top reads, Dr. Barkwood's test results, and then a bunch of graphs and numbers that I can't make sense of. Okay. As good as my vision is, I can't see inside of boxes I can't reach. Sorry. Map? Some maps. I can't see what they are. Okay. It's a huge stack of papers. I can only see the first page. It looks like a manuscript for a book. I can make out one sentence. 6,513 fact about bones. Femurs taste worse.
bones and other bones. And then my eyes start to strain. It looks like a draft of Scraggly's book. 7,001 facts about bones. Old letters from Fluffy Flufferton addressed to Scraggly Dog. I think it would say Fluffy Flufferton the first, but it looks like it was written before he had puppies. The letters themselves referred to their treasure hunting adventures. Something about a huge stash of treasure? He had writing so awful I can't make up the details. It's a certificate! Good dog of the year, 2015 will fetch a third year in a row. This must be a photocopy, I highly doubt this is the original. Alright, we're getting a lot of information, but I feel like we're not actually getting anywhere. Wow, they really think it was they really think it was us, huh? That's a picture of me! I'm nude! <laughs> Not a very flattering picture, I might add. I guess I should tell you about myself. My name is Omnisor, but you already knew that. I'm currently making my living as freelance graphic designer, a technical artist, and as such, I'm stressed and miserable all the time. Also, apparently someone thought it was a good idea to knock me on time to open a creepy basement. Thanks, dude. Cloth. A gross piece of top torn cloth. I have no contacts. Receipts? It receives from Donald's Drive-In Dog Foodery. This was a note saying, found in Holly's trash. Tying matches time with crime, and restaurants is not far from crime scene. It's painted on Holly's research papers. I recognize it because I drew the graphic for it. Yeah? Only one bone was take wasn't taken from the stash. I left it on the desk. Copy of Bill Fetch's resume. My name is circled in the reference section. Of course I let him list me. And the reference, who wouldn't? Why does Scraggly's private map collection include a map to my stash? Who has access to his private collection? Hmm. Only some clippings about a fabled treasure buried by Fluffy Flufferton III. There is a section that circled someone speculate that Flufferton only buried his treasure as an elaborate form of tax evasion. The Flufferton family could not be reached for comment. The section is written by Bill Fetch. Huh. This is all the same. No, no, no. It's all the same uh, paper. Yes. Snippets. Snippets from Doghouse Magazine where I used to work. There are all articles involving Emilia Fluff. I recognize them because I typeset them. Yeah? <coughs> Sorry. My throat hurts. <laughs> it's a page out of the script for the latest Amelia Fluff film, Dog Wild. Apparently it's a movie about a big heist. I saw the trailer and wasn't interested. Did we do this? No, should I? It says Amelia Show Day, followed by Tomorrow's Day. I'm not sure if this is a clue or if my counter just didn't want to forget. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if this changes now that we've... Because the guy has one too. Okay. So what else? The light? It's a lamp a little too bright for my liking. Uh, I guess we're gonna bark. Right? Let's go. Bark! Here I go. <laughs> bark! 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 Look who's finally awake. Oh, is it Scraggly? Sorry, I need water. I know you stole my stash of super special important bones. Tell me where they are and I'll let you go. I'm innocent! Is that so? Only four other dogs knew where the stash was. If you didn't do it, which one of them did? Uh oh. Scraggly or Holly? I'm gonna go Scraggly. You think all the dogs Scraggly did it? He'd never learn you. Check Little and Steel. Oh god, I wasn't paying that much attention. I can prove it. What is your evidence? The bone! Which bone? Uh, the desk? That was one of the bones from my stash that wasn't stolen. Yeah, it's a bite mark. Bite mark does look a lot like it was left by Scraggly's looking tooth, but it was already there when the stash was first buried. Alright, so I gotta figure out who it was. What is this receipt for? 
saw Holly Trash not far from crime scene. And Holly was present not for Nope, that's not what I wanted. But wasn't there house arrest after tennis ball accident? Alright, so it's not Emily, because she's on house arrest. Uh, it's probably not Scrappy. Who are you? Holly, yeah. Holly, osteo, studies bones. Also says femur is gross. Wait, who said femur was gross? Uh, femurs taste worse. First draft of Scraggly's book. Alright, so let's try Scraggly again and say that his book. Fine, who did it? I'm still gonna say Scraggly. It's Scraggly or Holly. Yeah, I think he did it. I can prove it! What is the evidence? Uh, still the bone. Which bone? The one on the desk? Right, and it's because it's a femur. Yeah, it's an old femur. So what? Is this not important? Femurs taste worse. Why would you steal it? Alright. What other bones are there? I can't click this. Is this something with a PC having bones? Okay, so it's gonna just not on the leg. Fetch ten. Right, what was he for stealing? I still don't think it's Bill Fetch. I think it's Holly then. Maps. Oh, we knew who had Dr. Barkwood Hatch results. And Barkwood is Holly's last name. Fluffy Flufferton and Justice Scraggly. Oh! Could it be Scraggly because he's in the know? Yes. Yes, I can prove it. The letter. What map? Scraggly and my grandpa used to be good friends. I don't see how that makes him guilty. If anything, I should clear his name because he and my grandpa were close friends. That Scraggly has a ton of stashes all over town. Why would he steal from mine? Alright, it's not. It's not Scraggly. I give up. <laughs> it's gonna be Holly. Resume. Made for ah, oh, they'll fetch. Okay, it's got a holly cloth, it's a gross piece of torf. I have no contacts. What is this? Um, oh, it's Amelia. I keep thinking of Amelie. E script. Okay, uh, some broadcast. Amelia Fluff. Do a treasure behind the fluff to the third. Not be reached for comment by Bill Fetch. I really don't think it's Fetch. All right, let's go with uh, Holly, I guess. Oh, we can check the map again. <laughs> Holly, the border Holly. No way. I can prove it. You can't say no way like that. You've got stuff all over your room. <laughs> Scarf. Receipt award. See, two desk plates within a few blocks of the crime scene, but that's not substantial enough. Lots of people eat at that restaurant. Okay, so why do you have it here then? Ah, <laughs> uh, the scarf then. The other scarf was found where my bones were dug up, except it wasn't her scarf. She was wearing the scarf the next morning. It wasn't torn at all. Right? A new scarf? Nope. Her old scarf had food stain on it, and the one she was wearing the following morning had the same stain. She could be a messy eater. Alright, something about an award, right? Certificate? No? Script, show day, growth cloth, receipt, research paper, note? What's this note say? Only one bone wasn't taken, I left it on the desk. Okay, we know that. Resume? Nothing? Sticky note? Why does Scraggly's private map collection include a map to my stash? Okay. Snippets. Okay, we can do that. Scraggly had a map sash. Did we do that already? I don't remember. Okay, letter. Map. Scraggly maps to 
all the treasure that he buried. He has two maps, collections, one that he gives out to the public, and one that he only gives to people he's close with. All his maps are handmade by him. He only keeps the really important ones in his private collection. Last week I found out that one of his private collection maps was a map of my stash. That's a good point. Scraggly only made maps for treasure that he personally buried. So why would he have a map to my family stash? That would only make sense if he buried it. I have made a terrible mistake. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I spent my whole life guarding the wrong stash of bones. <laughs> Since apparently the ones I have been protecting belong to Scraggly this whole time. Yes, yeah. I wealthily accused Omnisaur of my friend. Oh my god, I've learned a really valuable lesson today about friendship, judging people, and deductive, critical thinking. <laughs> Let me go? Untie me? Release me? Wait, why are these three different things? Do all of them? Like, untie me and then let me leave. Right, sorry. Before you go. Oh no. You don't- you'll want to leave through the back door so my mom doesn't see you. Oh my god. She'll get real mad if she sees us tie people up down here again. Again? <laughs> again? Freaking again? That's adorable. That's adorable. Alright guys, so that was Puppetrator Dog on Mystery. Um it was super cute. That was super cute. I really liked it. It was kind of adorable. I wasn't paying enough attention at the beginning because I thought it was just like, oh yeah, random facts. Um I didn't think the guy was gonna come straight downstairs and immediately start being like, alright, who did it? Um but yeah. I think the music needs a little bit of difference in it. it gets, it's very repetitive. Uh, but overall, cool beans, right? So, uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked your extra upload. Uh, things will resume normalcy at the next video, which is like in three hours or whatever. Alright, so thanks for hanging out, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye!